All right. Can you still see my screen? Yeah, and so I could turn on recording because I'm the host of the meeting. Right, got it. Right. Okay. Yeah, so shoot, go. All right, cool. Um, so what you're looking at right here, this is just a, 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 Chrome, a, a Chrome plugin that lets you put a HTML on this side, and I'll show the results on this side. So what I created here, and you'll, you'll see in a second, it's in, it's in my Tiddly Wiki. Um, a couple of weeks ago, I made this SVG map. Mm -hmm. um, this is Western Europe. Mm -hmm. These are a bunch of little Mozart heads, and they all represent different locations. So if we'll go over here, it lights up a little bit, and yep. see the tags of the room. Yep, and if I click here, find, room. And you had to find the spot in the SVG to put the href in, right? Yeah, and that's why I actually, yep, I have it over here. I uh, I left my screen on it. Do you see it? Yep. Is it right here? Yeah. Um, and somewhere it, it's big, so I don't want to I don't want to scroll. But somewhere up there, I have like a hover effect in CSS too. Yep. Um, and then then the, the title. That's pretty much it. So if I click here, it'll bring you to Chrome. Yeah. Here we go. Cool. And so the issue I was having last night, and basically it's. It's mostly functioning now. I have to add some more links and link it all together. But as far as this one I'm having trouble with, everything is good except for one thing. Okay. If I, uh, so I'm going to show you something. So you know how at the bottom of um, of a new tiddler, you can pick a you know text or you could pick a tiddly wiki or HTML. You can pick yep. the content type. Um, so I, I've done the map two different ways. So the HTML version of the map, looks great it looks like oh, i don't know why there it is it looks like it looks like it's supposed to you know get rid of this no okay. let, so me, no, actually, let me open this up too it's called um suny poly i i've made a couple new ones I, i've i've you might not have the same uh okay yeah okay so you've been doing a bunch yeah okay then i'll just look at yours yeah i can send you actually hang on i'll send you a link yeah, just right through or right through chat. Yeah, or just put just. How come we're not seeing it in your browser? Because you're using WebMaker. What am I, What are we oh. seeing, explain to me? What we're seeing in your browser now? That's interesting. Yeah. Let's, so let me let me go there now. So I just wanted you to show you how that works. Um, this is the old one. Sorry. There it is, all right. Okay, here we go. So there's two maps, there's two maps that I made. I made them because this is what I, I want to show you what I was having trouble with. So the one that I made with HTML, it looks fine, it looks the way it's supposed to, everything's lighting up. But when I click to go to the location, it doesn't work. It goes to this type of screen. Um now the other one, the map that I called Map Tiddler, the colors and the CSS is not working for some reason. It's just like showing up all you know black and gray. The hover over effects aren't working, but the functionality works. And I think it's because um, I can't figure out how to go how to link from HTML to the Tiddly Wiki code. It's not it's not picking up on it's basically not just not picking up on that code to go to a Tiddler. Yeah. And I, what I did, I've been doing a lot of research. And I did find one method I might do for my own interest, actually. But it'll be cool is if you build this locally first and then deploy it to the web, all the tiddlers are saved in separate files, and apparently it's easier to yes, exactly. that, that way. Right. So each because the code is just very long on these SVGs. Yeah, and right, right. So if I can break it down and edit it, and they're very difficult to manipulate. Yeah, and I've even noticed that. Um, and I didn't really think of this before I started. It's when I edit the uh, maps in here. When I click edit, it it slows down a lot. Oh when yeah, it's huge. Because if you think about what it's doing as a recursive editor, yeah, and then you have to scroll all the way down, and it's yeah. So, yeah, and it kind of it freezes a little bit as I scroll. So yeah. I'm trying to find a more efficient way to do it. I mean, but honestly, the map was kind of the even though I I spent a lot of time on it, that was like more of the novelty of it. The functionality of this whole thing is really that 
you can search by location and by date. That's the main part I was trying to get. And now I'm trying to build from there. Yeah. So the map. Yeah. So, okay. So let's, so, so yeah. Um, so where do you, where do you enter? Like, where do you conceive of as your front, as your home? I was thinking about that, and obviously I haven't set it up yet. I okay. What I want to do before Thursday, which I I have I do have time for. Um, I have that. Uh, I want to make... don't don't worry about the time because you're 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 yeah. We'll figure it out. That's not a problem. So okay. So, so take as much time as you'd like, and I'm willing to have you go as far as you'd like. But whenever you're ready to stop, just let me know and say I'm done, and I'll say okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I I would like to have the opening screen be a timeline and the map. And you can like it's kind of an SVG timeline basically. So you can search oh, by Yeah. Did you see Justin's? No, I don't think I did. Yeah. Oh, wait, is he the one who had the New York State map? Yeah. I got the I got the idea from him actually. Exactly. And then he's got a timeline in his latest one. Oh, yeah. Okay, I didn't see that. I'll have to check it out actually. That's yeah, it's cool. I'll have to let me see if I can find the link for you. It's, and I, I didn't quite understand how it worked, to be honest, but it looked cool. I mean it's you know, somebody's plugin, I think. Um, it's in the, so yeah. Okay. So I'll find that for you before okay. we send it to you or something. Yeah. But yeah. So, I mean, at this point I kind of just need to figure out a uh, less, um, so, so cl click on like, go to, where's your dates? Where's your main date thing? Like, Hey, you can surf by date. All right. So <laughs> there's no right way to find it right now, but the, yeah. uh, the date tag. So Let's go to the date tiddler. Uh, it's right there. It's like you got a link to it right on your tag. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Okay. okay. So what is this? So this should list all your dates, right? Yeah, this is all the dates. And then it, so, um, yeah. So scroll, let's look, let's edit this for a second. Right. Okay. Now, do you have the appear? Um, have you ever noticed appear? No. What is that? Well, go to design right because I think this will help you figure out what you want to do. Do you have design? Oh, it takes forever too. Don't you hate that? I'm sorry. No, it's good. Um, yeah. Yeah, it does a little slow. Okay, well, pretty good. And search for appear. Appear like appear a p b e a r. Yeah. And then do it on advanced search. Uh, the f the uh that one yeah okay. that yep and then you see the plugins to Toby Beer appear with this one right here no now look on the on the yeah oh okay yeah right here the plugins Toby uh, Beer appear down there right there that drag that into yours it's drop it okay. and oh no hit cancel and do it again and then you have to kind of drop it in you have to go up to the menu bar and then pull down yeah right there as soon as it turns green and now import okay okay yeah and then so and then go back to your date you got the draft of date yeah either one yeah okay and let's edit that again Oh, right, draft is the one I was already editing. <laughs> right. So after you write the date there, so you were date H2? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, after that after that H2, on the next line, put a dollar sign bracket or bracket dollar sign appear. Bracket, that dollar sign? Okay. Yeah, angle bracket dollar sign appear, just like you do oh, for right, dollar right, sign right. list, you know, but the command is appear. Right, right up here. Yeah. Okay. And then close it. And then after you close the list, go down to after you close the list, right, but before the break. Oh, the small guy. Okay. Yep. And hit, yeah, and then close the appear with a dollar sign with a sl you know angle slash dollar sign appear. Got it. So, I have a question about this. what what is this language that this is based on? Is this it, it reminds me of PHP, but I don't know what. So, what you're writing is 
like wiki text. It's a little, it's like a, it's, it's kind of a markdown or mark okay. up and I can never quite get it. So it's bare similarity to other things, but then it's just, it's got its own, it, its own peculiar structure. Right. Yeah. It make right. It makes sense to me. Like having seen other codes and stuff like that, it's like not. And I think it's optimized for um, sort of appearing in state in HTML. Cause every time you save it, it regenerates itself. So it has to do certain things. Okay. I don't know, but I don't get it. So anyway, so okay. appear is not working. It's an undefined widget. So, it's, but you have to, what we forgot to do is so save your, uh, save this cl uh, week, this tiddler. And then we loaded a plugin, so you have to save the wiki, the whole right, thing, right. save and reload. Uh, hang on, sorry. I've... Yeah, and you got to put that stupid thing on the bottom, exactly. <laughs> there. All right. I don't know if it's saved. I don't think it, oh, it did save. So see that little squiggly under the zero? So, oh, cool. That's much, neat. That's much neater. Yeah, you've seen tons of that, right? You just never knew how to do it. Yeah. Right? So I do that, yeah. And then, so scroll up again. Let's edit again. And then um, see where you've got the slash H2? Yep. Yeah, so if you get rid of that and put that after the... Um, right, after, okay. And put it all, exactly then it will all be in H2, which you might or might not want. Um, I, I, I might play around with it a little more, but yeah, yeah definitely so better. If look, and if you look at mine, you'll see that there's a little bit of CSS. You can wrap some, do you know CSS at all? Yeah, no, pretty well. I, I'm having trouble figuring out how to implement it. Yeah, so go to that. design, right? Okay. And go to like um, home maybe. And I probably did it relatively recently. So just go to home, the home screen, right? The home button. The home button in the upper right. There we go. Yeah, so let's look at um, final presentations. No, look at... Um, um, hmm. Look at the designing and writing, the part two all the way down the, the, the like Monday 12 March in the what's new it's it's under the hide what's new you know there's a list of tiddlers there that are new the most recent ones yeah the, so the next to the last one but open that up if you had the list open up what's new and then the next to the last one that, oh. yeah designing and writing yeah so the one yeah you missed it it's the one above that so, yeah you went to the wrong one so close this one Ah. Um, I, I was in an exit there. <laughs> I just forget that, like, the tithers is still yeah. on the screen. So it's the designing and writing from Monday, 12 March. That one. Okay. And um, project ideas. All right. And then, um, so show a list, maybe. The option two, show a list. Yeah, and let's edit that. So somewhere, it, somewhere in there's CSS that uses it, and that's not actually one of the examples. So sorry about that. Um, that's when I built it all out. But oh, I'll have to find the list. There's CSS. There's CSS written in. Search for big bold. Big bold. Big bold. This is open. Yeah, B I G B O L D, all one word. Um, yeah, there it is. Appears in tabs for each primary section. So look at that. Edit the edit the uh, code of that. Right here. Yeah. And so there's span class. Oh, okay. Okay, and then you close the span, and then you can get the appear to appear on the same line with a different class, so that the button doesn't control the class of the text under it. Okay. <laughs> okay. And so you've got that. And then search for um, over search for DWS, capital DWS, 
and go to the DW, it doesn't matter, yeah, the style sheet, the first one linked to it, DWS style sheet. And notice it's tag dollar sign colon slash tag slash style sheet. I was going to ask where is big bull bull being pulled from. So and it's the first sure. one. Okay. And the, and that you know then you don't you see I don't know much. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I see. All right, so you wrote a you wrote a little, little library here. Well, um, style, and so it's tag dollar sign colon slash tag style sheet. You see the tag on it? Yeah. Yeah. So any so drag this tag into mine, will I just have this style sheet? Exactly. You can just drag the tiddler, not the tag, but you can drag the tiddler, DWS style sheet, into yours, and you'll have the style sheet. Okay. There's a listing right under in the inbox. Right here? No, right. no, you just had it go. Yeah, right. You need the, a link to it. So click over in the search. Yeah, see, there's the link. Yeah, that you can drag. Yeah, and you don't have to reboot in order to make this work. It's now working. Cool. All right. So if I um Yeah, so go back to your draft of date. And um instead of H2, do um what was it? Span class equals big bold. <laughs> Is it stuck here? Is it? And close the quote. Yeah. And then close the span, get rid of the H. Yeah. On the repair? Yeah. Close the span right after the date. Oh, okay. okay. And then put the appear on the line above it so that the. No, I'm sorry, at the end of the line, not. Yeah, no, 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 no. Right. At the end, after the span, just no, don't have a return. You can't even have a line feed. Yeah, exactly. Just backspace. From, not from there, from the front of a pier. Oh, oh, I got it. Yeah, right. one more. One more. One more backspace. Yeah, one more backspace. And now put the bracket back in. There you go. It, it just... Almost. Yeah, and then get rid of the close H2. Um, oh, okay. So now they're on the same line in a different class, and if you open it for any date, then oh, that's cool. you see what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. No, you, I can play around with that a little bit too. Exactly, right. You can. There's all sorts of appear functionality and coding, and you can also, instead of just the default button, if you put show equals, then you can put a little icon in the button. You can do a lot with it. Okay. So go back up to the where you open the appear. Um, right here? Yeah, right there, inside that bracket. Right. Yeah, space, show equals. Show equals? Okay. Yep, show equals, and then in quotes, howdy or something, or show. Um, show. Yeah, and then oh, you can okay, then yeah. hide. And instead of putting it, you can transclude an image into that and it will become a button. Right, okay. Right, and then uh, and then you're off and running. I'm gonna put the word button and remind myself to do that. Yeah, so anyway, so, so and then of course you can do the same for your main navigation things, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's just like, cause you wanna see all the dates. <laughs> right, right, and that's yeah. Yeah, much better looking. Yeah, um, and if you want, cool. and, and so you see how you're doing a break between dates? I think yeah. somewhere, yeah, right after the appear, it looks like you put a break. A after the appear, all the way down. Yes. Yeah. So try getting rid of that. <laughs> uh, well, it's different, right? I mean, it's like it's you. You don't have to. You know, you can. Oh, actually. You know, it's and then open them. Yeah, exactly. And then. Oh, oh that's all right. Well, put something in there. It's hidden right now. You've got a hidden button. So put it like a X or something or, or just get rid of. Yeah. So that's, it's interesting, right? You know, yeah. it's, you can, it's different. It just gives you a different feel. Right. What right. When you open one in the middle, does it open in the middle? Like 1774. Yep. Uh, kind of cool. And try that on your phone. Sure. You know what I mean? 
Yeah. You just open it on your phone. Because it's like you could, you'd be surprised that like you can do some kind of cool things with just little texty interfaces. And it can be kind of fun. No, it's really, yeah. So I didn't know how to do a CSS in here. Right. So, so I, I figured that, yeah. But I figured that you'd kind of, once you saw it, you'd say, oh, yeah, I know how to do that. That's not hard. Yeah, no, it was just literally connecting the two. Um, yeah. Cool. That's great. That, that opens up a lot. That opens up a kind of a whole world to mess around with. Yeah. Um, you can do the same thing with, um, what, what's the other one? Cities, right? Location. Yeah. Cities. Yeah, are kind of cool you know i don't know i sometimes since i put vertical bars between things sometimes instead of a break so like you're down to be right before the yeah after the appear so you can do two not vertical two vertical bars yeah oh actually yeah you know pure text or or you can put a graphic in there or something or you know you can do different stuff yeah you no know? yeah i actually have a couple ideas i think um, yeah. i'll definitely do that Option eight, you know, option eight. No, what is that? Oh, you want a Mac? Yeah. Yeah, option eight instead of, that's the uh, bullet. Oh, okay. You know, it's like, oh, yeah, <laughs> that's simple. Yeah, I think you can, it's like, what's, it's surprising what you can do, like really simple. And then this, the simpler things, yeah. And then those work too. You can also put that in a select if you wanted to. Do you know how to do a select? No. Ah, do you see a bunch of projects that have selects? Um, so, yeah, go to, um, I don't know, you go to tiddlywiki.com and search select. And basically, it's a dollar sign select, option value equals list tag. And you'll see a bunch of them in the, in the student projects. Um, search for select. And it's the select widget. And then scroll down to, um, um, let's guess, simple list, no, keep going, value lists. We're looking for one that has the, keep going. Keep going. Um, that one's good. Multiple selections. Yeah, we don't need multiple selections. We're looking for the one with the list. This one? Yeah, keep going up. We don't need the fancy. Maybe we missed it. It's the very first one. Um, wait, what's that? There it is. There it is. That one. Just the just the top. Um, just the top four lines. Yeah. And do this in a new tiddler. and paste that and then the um instead of the tag it's tag date keep the bracket keep the bracket tag keep the, instead of table of, no keep the tag oh, yeah, got it. yeah and key, instead of table of contents it's date and is there a pull down in there yeah, yeah cool. okay and then so the field do a dollar sign colon slash uh, up above the first one, yeah, selected tiddler. Um, let's call it dollar sign colon slash selected date. No, no, no. So inside, so you're naming the tiddler. See, so you're naming the tiddler inside a single quote. Oh, yeah, yeah. Colon, so let's call it dollar sign colon slash selected date. And yeah, exactly, just exactly, right. So then copy the name of that tiddler, dollar sign colon slash select space a date. Copy that whole name because you're going to need that in a second. Yep, so copy that. Okay. So then after your list, at the end, all the way at the end, after the list, yep, you got to close the select. And then hit return a couple times and paste the name of the tiddler. And um, slash dollar sign select. You need a dollar sign when you close the select above, up above in your close select. Yeah, you lost your dollar sign there. 
Yeah. Okay. And then, um, so that's going to be the name of the tiddler, but if you select a date first, okay. And, um, so now there's a tiddler that has the value 1761 and the name of that tiddler is dollar sign colon slash select a date. But in, so you see where you've got it down there? Yeah. yeah. Left. So transclude that tiddler with curly braces instead of the single, instead of the, yeah, exactly. Instead of the single quotes, put curly braces, two of them. Two right there. Yeah. And get rid of the, get rid of the single quotes no. around the name of the tiddler. Yeah. Okay. And now change the date. And so you're writing a value of tiddler there. Right. Okay. okay. So now you can say, well, transclude the tiddler that's tagged. So keep the, keep that there. And then you can think about how you do it. You want to do a transclude the tiddler called select a date. So, right. Okay. You know, but that's, different you keep keep that there you'll keep you'll need that all the way at the end so let's put another couple lines in and now you want to it's um and the command is transclude so just write your just like select but it's dollar sign transclude uh in brackets or just dollar sign so like all commands are in brackets so angle bracket dollar sign transclude is the new command you're le learning now and space and the tiddler is named what? Tiddler equals? Um, the, well, it's, yeah, so it's just right, right, tiddler equals. Equals and now um, no space. I don't know if this is gonna work. And now paste, grab that transclusion up above. The whole thing with the brick, right, copy that. And then slash angle bracket let's see if that works mm, not quite so we'd have to figure out how to do that, um, that. you can look at one of the other projects like um meg's project does that a whole bunch of people are doing that with listing reports and stuff and press clippings so you can look at the final presentation videos when i get them posted and they'll be there but i think the one that we did before with date is kind of cool yeah, um, if you do that and then the location, then you'll have a kind of a nice little project. And um, yeah, that's like changing the date. You just have to figure out how to display that tiddler, and it's just not coming to me right at the moment. Um, yeah, there's. I'll figure it out. <laughs> yeah, it's um. Yeah, I'd have to look and see who did that in their projects. Um, I'll I'll browse around the the projects and. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna post them now. So. All right. Um, so does that, your thing is pretty cool. Um, and um, have you given more thought to your thesis project? Um, I was planning to uh, 